referee stands at the dot. Our officials tonight are Justin St. Pierre and Chris Schlenker. The linesmen are Derek Nansen and Mitch Hunt. Now Jake DeBrusque, of whom we spoke in our open, back to the line, and a shot by Charlie McAvoy, and that one went just wide. Uh, job by Couture to go out at, at the point to shoot that wide from uh, defenseman Coyle. Now DeBrusque, back to McAvoy, saved by Reimer. Difficult stop, and the rebound just out of the reach of the Bruins. Ryan Merkley to Alexander Barabanov. Almost had his pocket picked over there by Taylor Hall as Reimer controls it at the Sharks' net. Then he lost it. Back behind the goal, a little mayhem as a stick came up from Hall on Hurdle. Jam it up the boards and out for the Bruins is Derek Forbert, the former L.A. King blue liner. Gets it ahead, and now here's Brad Marchand. Marchand over to Bergeron, and that's blocked, and then it knuckles up high. And you can't let that distract you. This is two on, kind of one on one, and with the guy coming up as Mar Marchand throws it over to Bergeron. Nicholas Malosh here on Thursday as he took an elbow to the head. He is day to day with an upper body injury. Bonino pumps one to the net, and Swayman challenged for the first time on this power play with the save, and then the high touch by Merkley. It's another half second there in front. Bonino then. The single waist as Merkley carries the zone. Marshan with a hook on the stick there. Back for Ryan Merkley. He'll tee it up. Give it off now to Gregor. Shot saved by Swayman. And no rebound for Benino. Over to his left and just a kind of a catch and release with a little bit of traffic. Turning on McAvoy, but he lost the puck for a moment. Now trying to chase it back down. And McAvoy gave him a rough ride. Here is DeBrus with Marshan. He scores. Brad Marchand on the one-timer from Jake DeBrusk, and this lethal line for Boston gets on the board. This line, he's a left-hand shot playing the right side, and there's that forehand pass. He finds himself on the left side, and then Marchand turns to a, a one-time scenario, and Ferraro knows where he has to be. He's in a pretty good position. He may have just cruised a little bit too far, and DeBrusk makes him pay right there, and that's a... He sends it back for Burns. Now they set up. Burns and Meyer. And the shot goes high. Rattles off the glass and down over the hurdle. He'll work it back for Timo. Meyer inside for Couture. And he hit the post. 448 thousand dollars. It goes to the retired players fund, but that's a lot of cake to hand up for wow. fines. Here's Charlie Coyle as we're underway with Perry at two, and did that one go off the goalpost? It looked like it did. He and Linus Olmark have each played in 22 games. Now with tonight's 23 for Swayman, so they've split the duties right down the middle. Bergeron, and then a save by Reimer. The rebound went wide. He lays it in behind the San Jose net. Classic gives it right back. Polino goes up top to Kelly. Kelly the move against Weatherby. Puts it to the net. A save by Reimer. Back in front to Nosek. And that one did not go in. I'm not sure if Reimer made contact with the puck. He had dropped his stick. Number 38. Two minute minor penalty for holding. The call on Ferraro. Here's the flurry in front. Here's the one that Nosek, I think, just hits it up and over the net. Marchand. He has the only goal in this game. Scored it 15 28 into the first period for the Bruins. There's a shot that hits Reimer up high, drops to DeBrusque, and Reimer had that post covered and made a second save. Here's a chance in front, but it was bobbling for Couture. Now settled and back for Burns, and they spread out. Logan Couture, Burns, the one-timer, Meyer scores! Timo Meyer, a power play goal! games that's nine goals now this Timo Meyer one time goes right through Swayman you can see it he gets all of it from a nice feed from Brent Burns puts it right in the wheelhouse and right underneath Forbert and underneath the goaltender is he can't pick this puck up coming with a lot of velocity and Timo with a beautiful shot I think the Sharks to a man felt that Hall deserved a lot more than a two-minute minor penalty for that push on the back of Mario Ferraro that clearly injured him and David Pasternak it's a set play in for Taylor Hall and Reimer shuts the door on Hall but what a play it was it was 
Really smart play, really does. Pasternak just shooting this all the way down to the end wall. Kerm, Kerm's off, and the Speedy Hall gets it, and he's going to pull it on the backhand. All he has to do is go up and high, but James Reimer there with the glove to say no. Wow, what a stop by James. Marshan, a pass, and that'll deflect away from Pasternak. Out of the box comes Gregor. Puck to the net, turned aside by Reimer, and they score. And it's Marshand, and it's 2-1. Couture in the high slot. That's Couture picking up his stick there. This redirect is a terrific stop by Reimer. And then here's the pass, and he's just standing there out front. It gets through Middleton's stick there, and it goes off of Reimer, shoulder and in. And there's the knockdown by Marchand in on Couture. Could have been called an interference, was not. And that allows him to set up shop and get the one-timer. He'll run it up the wing, give it for Bergeron. That one hit Benino. But even the glove, or in the hand perhaps. He's unable to grab his stick. Chance in front for Marchand. And Reimer down, scrambling, able to cover up the puck. Side and then put him underneath. And here's the shot comes in. And this is the secondary opportunity as everybody is kind of stuck on Benino trying to recover from that shot block. Went backhanded to the corner. Riley there first for Boston over to Brandon Carlo. Schimmick. Intercepted by DeBrusk. Here's Polino and Reimer with the save. James Reimer saving the day again. Right diagonally and he turns it over. Doesn't make the pass over to Noah Gregor. And Polino gets a really nice scoring chance here but Hold it on the backhand. Reimer just doesn't panic, stays in good position, makes him a real nice save here. Polino just one goal on the year. Come back, come back. Here's a chance for Couture up front, and Swayman makes the save off Gregor. Merkley and Swayman's there again, and he covers the rebound. And then right here in the slot, the one time opportunity, good pass from Couture into Gregor. Work it around and get another chance on the goaltender right here from Merkley. And no rebound, but one time shot here from the young defenseman. That was a nice spin around by Merkley over the glass and just couldn't handle it. Here's a chance for Hurdle! And it's saved by Swayman! Yeah, we're paying the price on the checks, and this is just Tomas Hurdle, the big body, pulling it on the backhand. What a chance from Brent Burns. Meyer for Merkley. He'll get around to Bruss. Merkley shoots. Swayman looks behind him. Where's the puck? It's still loose in front of the net. No whistle yet. Sharks have it. Chance for Hurdle. And Swayman made the save. Unbelievable stop by Jeremy Swayman. And then the Sharks, what a job by Merkley. Just pulls it around the four checker. This puck is in behind Swayman. It comes out the other side where Merkley grabs a hold of it right here. He's going to pull it back and gives an opportunity for Hurdle. Middleton timed it perfectly. Meyer. And Marchand will get back to that. And Reimer has been unable to leave the net. Pasternak. Gets by Dezingo. And the goal by Patrice Bergeron. And that will seal the deal for Boston. 3-1. Even from the shift before, but they're leaving him out on the ice. They have to. They feel and This is Pasternak. Just finds the open stick. Logan. You know, doesn't get a stick in the passing lane there as Bergeron moves his stick from left to right. It's available. He one times it past James Reimer. They get nine consecutive wins against the San Jose Sharks on this night. They take care of business by a final count of three to one. And Jeremy Swayman.